here on my iPad, I'm going to go ahead and open up Mobile at Work, uh, enter my password to finish my uh, login, my enrollment into uh, Mobile Iron Core. It's going to ask me to agree to installing the Network Sinkhole VPN profile that is, that is part of the uh, Mobile Iron Threat Defense Local Actions, a new feature that uh, came out with, uh, with Core 10.0. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish up my... Uh, UEM registration here, installing the profile, entering a secure passcode, uh, generating a key, uh, enrolling a certificate, and that should be it. I should be good. Um, the managed apps should start uh, installing onto my device. Um, open up Mobile at Work again. It shows that uh, Mobile Iron Threat Defense is activated. Threat scanning is enabled. My device is compliant, so it should be good to go. But um, in the meantime here, I'm going to uh, disconnect from my secured Wi-Fi to an unsecured Wi-Fi network that uh, lives in my neighborhood, uh, Xfinity Wi-Fi. And what should happen is I, I didn't enter any credentials, so I'm kind of in a state of limbo, not connected to the network. And you see the user notifications that basically say that uh, my internet connection has been uh, disconnected. The VPN profile, the, the VPN sinkhole had kicked in, and if I were to bring up uh, my browser, in this case it's Safari, and I try to access uh, mobileiron.com, it, it uh, never connects and it times out. Um, so now I'm going to uh, check mobile at work. It says uh, threat scanning is, is enabled, but uh, I lost connectivity and I, I have a threat because I'm connected to an unsecured Wi-Fi. So now I'm going to connect back to my secure home Wi-Fi called Tsunami, and you notice that the uh, the VPN uh, profile becomes disabled, the VPN sinkhole profile that's part of the local actions gets uh, disabled automatically uh, after I've remediated the threat. I go back to my browser and try to access uh, mobileiron.com, and there you have it.